there, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. <laughs> Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we're the most famous physical therapist on the Internet. In our opinion, of course, Today Bob. Today we're going to show you uh, the six best exercises do, to do before knee replacement. Yes. And the fact is you can actually do these after also. Uh, actually, the before therapy is very critical. Very critical and make a much better after surgery. So Brad's going to be a model here. Um, oh. Why don't we do the first one, Brad? Um, lay flat on the bed. Oh, yes. Lay uh, flat on the bed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to take a nap. And oh. you could start. Now, if you don't have a knee glide, you can use a garbage bag. You're in the way, Bob. I know, but I'm trying to <laughs> get you to work. Well, I know I'm going to show them what we're, this is oh, the goal, right. to get some range right. of motion. Where's the strap? The strap is oh, right here. Oh, you got it over there. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm not totally asleep. But uh, uh, the goal is to do this to range your knee, but your heel is going to stick to the bed sheets. Right. So if you take a, a like a plastic garbage bag, a bread bag, uh, I've had people at home use a cookie sheet. That seems to work the best. Yeah. So uh, you use whatever it takes because that'll make a big difference if you don't have any fr or the least friction is, is desirable. Uh, we do have something we're going to show you in a minute that works really well. I wonder well. if it would work if you'd put your foot inside this. Oh, well, yeah. Just just in case things don't go out well with the surgery, then you can throw the whole leg away, huh? Uh, I'll get her, Bob. Oh, my wife makes me do this on a daily basis. Um, you know, yeah. There we there go. There we go. And then, uh, you know, if you have a belt or a strap like this, this can be awfully helpful. Uh, you can put this around your leg. It's nice to put it around twice. You can put it around the toe, too, man. You, you can, but the garbage bag gets in the way. <laughs> we'll, we'll try that. Either way, be creative. Um, and you'll see what the deal is here. There. And yeah, then you can, pretty good. Because when, you're, when your knee's painful and after surgery, right. this is a pretty big deal. And plus you get a little bit of stretch yep. when you do it this exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, because your muscles will not be working very well because of the surgery. So you're going to need some assistance with the strap. All now, right. I will show you a much better method. Oops, I almost tripped over it. Oh. All right, Brad. All right. There we go. Let's get this positioned properly. Okay. There is a towel over there, this Bob. This works really nice in bed. Yep. Now, this is much less resistance, much nicer. Uh, you don't need to get one, but if you want to, you can use it before surgery, after surgery. Uh, if you just have arthritis in your knees, they're very good for that to avoid surgery. Um, so I'm gonna... Sometimes you wanna put a towel underneath yep, the heel. A little more comfortable, right. just to get a little cush there. Oh yeah, yes, yes. And so we're gonna go as far as you can stretch that knee and then go back down. If it's before surgery, you're probably going to go, you know, all the way up to here. And if you can, that's great. You're going to do this for a couple minutes at least, just to keep that cartilage and everything in there mobile. Yep. Get blood flow to you. You're going to find out it works really well. Yep. All right. This it, really works well after surgery. It does. I mean. be, because then that leg is going to feel yep. quite heavy, a little painful. All right. With knee pain, the one muscle that tends to get the most weak of all is the quadricep. Mm. So that's the one we want to make sure you work on strengthening. So, Brad, if you want to grab a pillow. I have one. Yep, and fold it in half. Really simple to do. Now, what he's going to do is push the knee down. He's going to squeeze the pillow, and he's going to count to 10. What are the rules of 10? <laughs> I'll go a little slower. One, two, three, four. And so you go up to 10, and then you relax. Right. And you do that, you know, at, at, at least five that. times. You know, you, you want to get up to 10. Right. 10 repetitions of 10 counts. And that really, you know, the pillow really gives you something to squish into. It just right. makes it easier to get those quads working. All right. And eventually you can do like three sets of 10. Right. right. Yep, exactly. Good All right. Point. Next one um, if you want to get a little more advanced, you get a coffee can mm -hmm. and you rub, uh, rub, you wrap a towel around yep. it. This one actually is a, a sheet and towel all wrapped up together. Yep. But, and 
you can just start working on some, again a different way of working on quadriceps. So that and, uh, and eventually you can even put some weight on on the ankle. Okay, so we're just going to do the right. short arc quads. I always call them. Yep. But, uh, uh So then we get isolate that quad with this open chain. We call it. Yep. You know, if you're going to use a coffee can, you, you get one of those metal ones. They still sell them. Right. Yeah. My mom prefers the metal ones. All right, then, it's uh, very simple. Bend the left leg, Brad. Yep. And you can do straight leg raises. Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is one of those things it's where... It's going to get the hip, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to start out with, you know, you may do this with your... If you do have a, a long belt or a strap, and just to start out with... A little assistance. Yep, and that can make a big difference. Bringing this leg up helps a lot. Stabilizes the back, too. Yep. Yeah, you'll find it uh, much, much better. And then after you don't need that, then we'll go here. You just go up as high as you feel comfortable. You know, you're, you're not going to get it up to here. And if you are, you're probably uh, pretty athletic. All right, this is one a lot of people don't like, Brad. What? Right? Because it, it can become painful after a while. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> you actually put this under the heel. Yep. There's not much gap here, but there's enough that... We put stretch on here, yep. especially because a lot of people don't have full extension with yep. when their yep. knee. May only go to here. Right. And then the key is, is to relax and let gravity try and, and straighten keeping it your out. toe straight up. Don't let it curl. I mean, not curl. <laughs> roll off to the side. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if we can get that other view. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, hey, <laughs> it's our new camera, new toy. Anyways, yeah, get that toe up. Try and keep it that way. At, now, I think with an e-glide, this works even a little bit better, too. Yeah, it does. Yep. I'll take that, too, Brad. Oh, oh, oh I see. Sure. See. Beautiful. Yep. Yes. Yep. Then you get that. Get slide. Yep. That. Right. That's going to make it straighten even That's more. That's the difference from nice to beautiful. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you could put the cold pack on your knee. Do you, sure. Do you have one around here? No, I don't. Oh, I thought you brought one in. <laughs> no. Yeah. And that that makes it feel better. Plus, you get a little weight on there if you want right. to get a little more aggressive with it. It's definitely a good time after uh, the surgery to mm -hmm. put the uh, ice pack on there and stretch it at the same time. Right. All right. The final one, Brad, is uh, in the seated position. Ooh. You want me to get over yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, you no. can do... Um, Again, you can take your garbage can, or you can actually, a garbage can, your garbage bag, or you can actually just do, bend it straight like this. Yep. Sometimes I'll have, uh, you know, my patients kind of grab here for a little support, and they feel a little better with that. That's up to you. And uh, What I like about this one, you can do it throughout the day. I mean, if you're at your desk. But that's where the knee glide comes in, too, because... And, uh, Brad, do you want to show uh, some of the other advantages yep. of the e-glide? So we're going to get it as far as you can. And, and we've found with a number of patients, when you put it up on the stilt, you get this downhill, and it seems to make the ankle yeah, work better. Yeah, a lot better. easier on the ankle. And uh, even that little bit of a downhill uh, angle right. can make a big difference. And then you take your other foot to give a little overpressure, which is... Uh, right. After surgery, is you really need to do that, um, and even before a good stretch will be helpful. When when you get stronger and you don't need that downhill, then you want to get the hamstring stronger. This up, then you turn it the other way. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks, by the way. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, all right, that's it, Brad. Oh, really? The top six uh, yeah. exercises that you're going to do before a knee replacement and after yeah. a knee replacement. It's feeling pretty good. All right. All right. Good luck with Thanks. that knee.